Welcome back to It's Controversial. Today's topic, how false accusations are ruining men's lives. So it's going to be an interesting one. Stay tuned. We learned today that a federal judge in Nevada has thrown out a rape lawsuit against soccer superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. The Portuguese star denied raping a woman in a Las Vegas hotel 10 years ago. But he's calling this whole story, and I quote, fake news. Fake, fake news. Back in 2005, in a different case, Ronaldo was arrested on suspicion of rape. He denied all claims, and those charges against him were dropped due to insufficient evidence. They want to be famous to say my name. It's part of the job. Why is she coming forward now? She has been emboldened by the Me Too movement, and she wants justice. The first suspect, Ronaldo. World-famous footballer, worth hundreds of millions of dollars, if not a billionaire. This woman claimed assault that Ronaldo, one of the most successful men in the world, in shape, who has thousands of women after him, allegedly assaulted him. Oh, this is just getting ridiculous. This case was thrown out. The accusations were clearly false. Rightly so, the judge threw this case out. But at what cost? Problem is, when a man is brought to trial in such cases, it literally labels him permanently, permanently, as a woman abuser. Which is unfair, unjust in every way, shape or form. Especially when you've done nothing wrong. Now, obviously this shows and highlights the dark sides of fame. And the burden fame can carry. And it is important to recognise and remember this. My children would have to go to school and have their friends approach them with the infamous People magazine cover with... <coughs> Amber Heard's raw and emotional testimony was at times painful to watch. I thought, this is how I die. He's gonna kill me now. She accused Depp of brutally sexually assaulting her. Heard delivered, quote, the performance of her life. Her testimony, as you said, has been very emotional. I think the jurors are likely feeling sympathetic to her. Heinous accusations of violence, sexual violence, ridiculous, humiliating, ludicrous, painful, savage, and all false. All false. He ripped my dress. He's like grabbing my, my, my breasts. He's touching my thighs. Um, he rips my underwear off. And then he proceeds to do a cavity search. Breaking news out of the United States. There has been a verdict in a trial watched by millions around the world. Virginia jury has found that Amber Heard defamed her ex-husband Johnny Depp and has been ordered to pay $15 million in damages. The next case is a recent one. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Oh, this was theatrical. Cameras out. Oscar ready. Yeah, I've been abused. He abused me. When reality is, this crazy bitch got a knife and chopped off the man's finger. Yes, an A-list actor got abused by this crazy woman who is now, I don't know where she is. Oh yeah, I think she's fled to Spain because she couldn't really handle living in America after the rubbish she pulled off and how much she was ordered to pay as well. I would be running too. The last time I checked, Amber Heard is still out there living her best life. Honestly, I honestly have no words. One of the most popular athletes in the world facing allegations of sexual assault. The Wall Street Journal reports Nike cut ties with soccer superstar Neymar last year. In 2016, a Nike employee told friends and colleagues that Neymar tried to force her to perform oral sex. Nagia Trindade has appeared on Brazilian TV with accusations that she was raped. He was aggressive, completely different from the person I got to know in the messages. She claims that the incident in a Paris hotel last month was an assault together with rape. Police in Brazil have charged a woman who accused the international footballer Neymar of raping her in a Paris hotel in May with perverting the course of justice. The woman and her former husband have been accused of lying to police and attempting to blackmail the player. The next alleged monster, Neymar, once again, another A-lister, Brazilian superstar, multi-millionaire, successful, well-known, famous. And what this woman essentially did is 
claim sexual assault. Once again, a person like Neymar, with all these accolades, has thousands of women throwing themselves out there. You can clearly see in the video, this woman is actually beating Neymar. So if anything, he should be claiming assault charges against her. But no, obviously, we believe all women on the internet. No matter what happens, the woman is always right. Fake accusations once again against an A-lister. At this point, this has more or less been turned into an extreme sport. Controversial influencer Andrew Tate has been arrested in Romania on suspicion of human trafficking, rape, and forming an organized crime group. I have lived with Andrew for years and years, and he would never do anything like this. He is not a human trafficker. He would never rape anybody. I'm just so shocked, and I'm so fed up with all of these lies, and he does not deserve any of this. First of all, I'd like to start by saying that there are no victims in this case. It all started April last year in 2022 when two girls that lived in my home with me found themselves in their room and claimed to be held there hostage. But here's the fact. When the authorities and the police raided our homes, they forgot to mention and that's that the key was in their room, on their bed. The police know that there was no crime and they are holding the Tate brothers locked with no evidence because they think it's good for Romanian politics. Now, the other two victims that the police claim to be involved in this case are me and Beatrice. We have been given three statements clearly saying we are not victims, but our statements keep getting thrown away. The police don't care about the truth. Instead, they choose to listen to two girls that went on a luxurious vacation on the French Riviera a week or two after being rescued for whatever they claimed to be. Another fact is that the police threw away the surveillance footage from the house because they don't, don't consider it evidence. Evidence that proves that those girls were able and were going for walks, they were going out of the house with their phones whenever they wanted, wherever they wanted. We want justice. To see what's happening right now it makes me extremely, extremely upset. I can say now with confidence that these guys are not capable of such nonsense what police says and news say. I'm Ukrainian refugee. It was Tristan who helped not only me. At 6 a.m. 10 people raided my house. They took all my devices. You can imagine how much I was scared. They are purposefully trying to pressure me to make them guilty. I can say that the court is trying to manipulate the girls, saying only what is beneficial to them. That due to lack of evidence, they are trying to extract any information against them. I am not a victim. Beatrice is not a victim. There are no victims in this case and there is no crime. The prosecution has no evidence to support their claims and they will find no evidence that there is no truth to this allegation. No, I've never been threatened. If I was ever threatened, I wouldn't be stupid enough to stay in that house. Everything you're seeing on the news right now is all false accusations. He's always been respectful of me and others around him. I think the media is just portraying a really bad image of him right now and it's not fair. I think it's a little concerning to see how easy it is for the media to sway people into believing lies and stuff that isn't true. If this happens to them, I am worried this can happen to anyone at this point. I'm moving on to our final character, Andrew Tate. Surprise, surprise. What makes this one even worse is there is literally evidence to prove him innocent. He was locked away in prison for months on end without there really being any case against him. And now they suddenly decided to charge him with human trafficking. At this point, are you really safe as a man? No matter what you do? It's like you've breathed oxygen. BAM! Lawsuit! Like, what the fuck? Once again, it goes to show the lengths women will go to. Put out false accusations. It damages family. It damages your reputation. It absolutely destroys a man's life. Certain opportunities that you might have been able to get before, chances are you're not going to get them now. Because people are going to be very cautious with the way they deal with you. I would also add that there is genuine victims of assault, but because of these idiotic women, 
And I'm being nice here by calling them idiots because they're far worse than that. They're more or less monsters at this point. Because if you can be so evil to just destroy a man's life out of spite or regret, who knows what you're capable of? This is why women don't really make great leaders because if they were leading the world right now, we probably would have had 10 world wars. And that's just the truth of the matter because they act on emotion and temporary emotion should not be making such ill-minded decisions or accusations. Hopefully the retreat will come out with for the Tate brothers soon. It's only a matter of time before the courts throw this case out as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Stay safe out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.